The clear blue waters of the Tanya Strait is the habitat of 14 species of dolphins and whales. The Tanya Strait, which is about 161 kilometers long, is located between the islands of Negros and Cebu, and is since 20 years the largest marine protected area in the Philippines. The beauty and the biodiversity of the Tanya Strait is under threat of destructive and illegal fishing and natural disasters. Since a few years, the Biodiversity Management Bureau and NGO RARE are focusing on improving the biodiversity in the Tanya Strait. This video gives you an impression of their good work. The Philippines is one of 18 mega diverse countries in the world, uh, whereby nearly 80% of all species worldwide uh, are found. So, um, as such, biodiversity really is an important resource for the country. The Biodiversity Management Bureau works in terms of producing policies that will guide how we are supposed to conserve, manage, and sustainably use our resources. The, the goals that, that we need to do is primarily to educate our people about the biodiversity, how significant they are, and of course, equally significant would be to teach the people what are the, the threats that pose on our biodiversity. Because I think um, the way to go now to preserve biodiversity is to reduce the threats. Uh, for example, in the marine environment, we have the uh, uh, sedimentation that comes from the land-based uh, activities and many other things like um, illegal fishing methods that destroys the habitats of fish. The fishermen are poor, so what they do is they use dynamite to catch more fish. So as they do that, they damage the habitat. The fish will not go back there because the habitats are damaged. And so the fishermen will look for another site, destroy another site, and eventually you see that what he does will uh, affect the entire country if it is not arrested. Initially, there were a lot of dynamite fishers, and then as the enforcement began to put in place, then that's it. People began to realize, oh, it's not good to use dynamite fishing, so we will have to change our ways. The coral surface in the Philippines declined fast for the last few years because of illegal fishing, human influences, and natural disasters like typhoons and El Nino. But fortunately, the Philippines is trying to restore it. Right here, we are transplanting corals. About three, kind, three species of corals. And we are guarding the marine reserve, protected area. While guarding, we are also transplanting corals. First, we take assessment if these corals will be fitted in this area. And luckily, they are just adjacent. We just pick it up nearby and transplant it here. They are making progress by transplanting the coral, but more money and work is needed to protect the Tanyan Strait and its marine life. They need more money for the ranges, for example. This part of the Tanyan Strait is guarded by only three boats with teams patrolling 24 hours in a row. We have many successes and many failures as well. But the, the nice thing is we learn from, from those uh, failures. I think for, for the successes, um, I, I can just see that, for, for example, the maintenance of the 33 Naipas areas all over the country as uh, nationally protected areas, the enforcement of laws inside these areas, the, um, the push for ecotourism, uh, in, in many areas in the country is also a good thing. But we began to explain to them that when you declare an area as a key biodiversity area, you have to protect it. You will see animals there that are threatened, that are irreplaceable because they're endemic. It is a notion that when you lose that species, you will lose it forever. You really have to weigh your what you have and um, sometimes it is kid pro quo. You give in, you take some, you give in, you take some and you can't have it all. Yeah. 